Hi, Christine Armstrong, Exercise Ruckus. Today we're gonna to focus on the hip and knee. This is a super simple, super old school exercise, but it's a wonderful hip and knee stabilizer and really help you get a good understanding of how your quadriceps work and your inner thigh. So the first thing you do is you need to come forward in your chair and sit on the edge. The most important thing throughout this entire activity is your posture. As soon as you round out your spine, turn into the letter C, you've completely lost the point of this activity. So sitting tall, lifting the abdomen up and back, spreading your collarbones, lengthening your head, creating a long, strong body. Extend your right leg, excuse me, you gotta come forward a bit. Extend your right heel and flex your foot. Pull that toe up, really try to tighten up that kneecap. Pull that kneecap up towards the hip. Again, check your posture and then raise that leg and hold. Now you can hold this anywhere from five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 or 20. It's up to you, whatever your thigh will allow. It does get a little crampy the first few times you do it, beware. Sit tall, hold the posture, release. Then you're gonna do the other side. Extend the foot, flex the foot, pull the toes towards you. That helps engage that kneecap pulling it up towards the hip. Sit tall, check your posture, and then raise that leg as much as you can. As soon as you feel yourself break, you have to reset yourself, lift your chest, and do it again. This will really tighten up and work on that deepest quad muscle underneath the top three. That's a really great hip engagement. Release. You can repeat that two or three times. That's up to you. But if you want to progress a little bit farther, you can extend the leg, keep the knee bent slightly. Again, flexing the toes, pulling those toes up. Again, checking your posture and raise the leg up and hold. The goal is to get the knee up higher and higher as you go. You should feel this in your core and you're going to feel this in your thigh and you might even feel it along the front of your shin. Again, the length of time that you choose to hold this is up to you. Longer is better, of course. Sit tall, check your posture. Other leg, bend the knee slightly, flex the foot, raise the leg. Hold it, hold it there. Look at the angle of your foot. Is your foot cockeyed? Is it turned out? Is it turned in? See if you can get that middle toe to point up. And as you hold the posture, don't let your body collapse. Continue to lift tall. For whatever length of time you choose, 10 seconds, 20, 30, it's up to you. The third one really works the inner thigh. So you're gonna start the same way as the second activity. Sitting tall, bending the knee, flexing the foot. But this time, allow the knee to fall away from the midline. Let the knee fall out, let the foot fall out. And think about raising the inner heel. Think about lifting up that inner heel so that you're really turning the hip. And this one generally you'll feel on that inner thigh. Again, you have to check that posture. And again, you can hold it for the amount of time that's comfortable for you, always challenging yourself a little bit more each day. And then release, extend the other foot. Knee is bent, I'm going about 15 seconds-ish. I'm usually a little loose with my time. And then I raise it up and turn and lift the inner heel. Lift that inner heel. That's the part that's working the most. You might even feel it along the outer edges of the hips. Make sure your hips aren't tipped or cockeyed. Have nice level hips. Again, lifting that inner heel as high as you can comfortably, allowing that knee to fall out, checking your posture, and then release. You can repeat that activity, or you can just do it once, run through the three. Uh, any amount of that will help with any knee problems or knee pain that you have, and it works great for stability as well. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Keep moving.